Okay, I tried to teach this a couple weeks ago, and here it is once again coming back to haunt a team. Okay, so this is the three-man stick combination. And the way that everybody in the league seems to be running this is we're going to run the five-yard stick route, and then we're going to have number two run a five-yard out route, and of course we're going to have what should be an outside release go route out here. All right? and. Jordan Love is going to throw an interception on this play for the exact reason that I told you guys, is that when these two guys run at the same depth, this is your read guy. So the quarterback is being asked to decide if this defender is covering the flat or if he's covering the stick. And how do you decide that when the defender stands in the exact same place the entire time all right so i want you to watch and jordan love right here is committed to throwing the football he's committed already why because this guy is about ready to come out of his stick route and so i can't wait and i can't let the inside linebacker have the chance to undercut this so i've got to be on time to this throw but in being on time to this throw what do we notice this defender still has not moved because the other guy is starting to break out at the same time, but he hasn't broken out yet. He hasn't gotten any width from where he started, and that width is what creates width by the defender, or it, it, it at least forces him to stay there and not cover the flat or get width with the flat and open up the stick route. But because we're running them at the same depth and he's sitting back and reading the quarterback is reading the quarterback because number two has not threatened his responsibility. So he's going to sit there and read the quarterback. Jordan Love's already committed to throwing the stick because he has to and he wants to be on time. Boom, he comes inside and steals this. Okay? So that's just the first element of this play. All right? There's a second element as well that we're seeing right here. So Houston likes to play quarters coverage, okay? So it's one, two, three, four, each responsible for a fourth area, uh, deep area of the field, okay? And what teams will try to do is they'll try to play a read four, okay? And when they play a read four, what they're doing is they're keying the number two uh, player on the field, okay? Now, it's a little bit harder to read that when you've got a three by one side because this guy always has the ability to attack down the middle of the field, and so this safety has to be a little bit more conscious, conscious to the inside instead of just going outside, okay? Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's just assume this guy's not here, okay? So if we assume that guy's not here, What's happening is this defender and this defender are eyeing this number two guy. So if this number two guy goes vertical, then the safety knows he's got to be responsible for him down the middle of the field. And then this corner has to play the deep fourth area of the field. Okay? So that's the first element to it. Now, if this number two receiver goes to the flat right now, what does this defense know? Smart teams know that means there's only one more threat to this side and it's the outside receiver. So if number two goes straight to the flat, this can almost become like a cover two where the corner can come down, kind of like the arrow showing. He can jump down and cover the flat and they let the safety cover anything vertical because he's got no other threat to his side when there's a two receiver side. That's why it's a little bit different with the three receiver side because this guy can still attack the weakness of this defense down the middle. So this safety has to be a little bit more conscious to the inside. And this corner has to realize that too, that if the safety has to squeeze to the middle and we get that same type of look here, I better be a little bit more conscious of covering the deep area of the field instead of coming off on the flat because now safety goes inside, I jump the flat, and I just gave up my responsibility with the outside go route, okay? So we've got to be able to understand 
all of that, but Houston is actually trying to play that sort of theory. So just watch the corner here as I, I run this. What's he doing? He's looking back. And you see him right there? He's trying to do both things. He's trying to peek inside and, and, and read the quarterback and be ready to kind of jump that out. But he also has to play his responsibility to the deep area of the field. And so you see he's kind of hesitating and midlining it and playing through the entire thing. The other thing that helps him is the number two receiver pushing up five yards. Okay, pushing up five yards because it doesn't threaten him right now. He can play a little bit deeper here because he's still got leverage to the outside with the out route. Now, just envision, okay, if this guy goes to the flat right now. Okay, we've already talked about how it influences this guy because really in this quarter's coverage, that defender that's circled is supposed to cover all the way to the flat. But these guys are reading the quarterback. But if I get this guy to go to the flat right now, as a quarterback, I get a read off of that outside linebacker. If that outside linebacker stays tucked inside, okay, right? If he stays and holds there, my eyes get right outside to the next defender, right? Because the only guy that can take away the flat now is the corner. And so it allows me the ability to get my eyes on the corner. So if the corner wants to jump and come off of this, I have a shot at what we call the whole shot down uh, the, the sideline here and a chance to beat this safety with the throw. But that has to happen quick. If it doesn't happen quick and I try to throw it further down the field, now the safety gets involved. And that's why it's a whole shot because we're driving it in the hole between the safety in the corner, but I have to get that read fast. If I don't get that read fast, it's harder for me to hit that whole shot. It's easier for the safety to get involved. So not only does the flat give us a read on the outside linebacker. So I go now, he holds, boom, my eyes are straight outside and I'm thinking flat, but I'm looking for that next defender to see. Okay, so just envision this corner here. Okay, we go the flat right here. Does he come down hard? If he does, boom, there's my throw. If he doesn't, and he does and plays his responsibility because it's a three-man side and gets depth, now we win to the flat because I've already decided on this particular play. If he plays it just like this and holds inside, my throw is to the flat. So it helps me in two different ways as a quarterback to A, get a quick read to know whether I'm going inside or outside and then B if I'm going outside to be able to get my eyes and read that quick cross between the go and the flat to possibly hit the whole shot which could be an issue on this play right if that linebacker stays tucked inside I've got to take and, and get one of these throws on the outside so I got to be ready to rip it I got to know what I'm seeing I got to know what my read is quickly so I can be on time for both the whole shot and the flat depending on what that outside defender does on this particular play.